this video is to show a little bit better representation of what that uh, Blue Diamond Severe Duty Mower can do. Um, unfortunately, it always seems like I get the sun in the wrong part of the sky whenever I'm filming here. But you can see some of what I did in a fairly short time. And I'll walk down and show you a little bit of what is yet to come. And I'll do a little video uh, time in the machine running the mower so you can see that. And then I'll try to uh, put it on time warp with the right term um, so that uh, you don't have to watch endless minutes of just mowing. Um, but this gives you an idea of, of more of what the, uh, the machine is normally, in my case, used for. You can see some of the vegetation is, oh, six feet or better tall. Uh, and that's in one growing season, believe it or not. The brush here will grow three to five feet uh, in a season. For example, all of that over here this spring was bare ground. There was no brush there whatsoever. And as I said, now you can see that it's uh, quite tall. So dealing with brush is a continual effort. There's another tree that blew down in the, the hurricane that I have yet to get down this far to clean up. Um, so, general idea of what's to come. Here's a quick little shot of the excavator with the mower on it. Uh, kind of in its natural habitat, if you will. Uh, now I'll go in and fire it up and start doing some mowing. Okay, now I'm going to do a little mowing, demonstrate that. Um, Once it gets out of ways, that's not a 
condition. But when it is in close, it is, and therefore I just leave it at this at an angle. He like said it's probably an angle of 20 degrees or so. But um, it 
definitely handled the three, four inch stuff I was cutting uh, with no problem. I'm going to get a little bit trickier here. Try to work my way not to break the branches off this maple I'm trying to save. So I'll attack the driveway side of this from both sides. One little aside that uh, the uh, I don't have the radio on in my excavator, which I do have. Um, and when I turn off the video, obviously I play the put the, not obviously, but I put the music on. And in our little town of 2,500 up here in northern New Hampshire, we have our own radio station, and they play classic rock and roll, which is. The genre I like to listen to so that works out well for me um, and whoop, there it is the uh, radio is I'm sure it's it's all pre-recorded it's not live and the um, commercials they have about a 30 second commercial once every hour um, unfortunate for them if they're trying to make revenue but this thing is probably all pre-programmed and sent out to multiple stations worldwide out of Timbuktu for all I know. But works out good for me. See you, bye. Postscript. Uh, I keep meaning to sign off and then think of things I want to say. This will be the last one. Um, I should mention that I had a, a different brand and model of uh, rotary uh, brush hog on my excavator prior to getting this blue diamond model. Uh, the previous one was a 60 inch uh, style um, and it had two blades with a stump jumper in it. Um, it worked fine. Um, the reason, a couple three reasons I changed out was number one, it was heavy when I was had my boom all the way out uh, it was a little wobbly um, the second was um, I was envisioning on cutting thicker material and therefore the severe duty uh, style uh, fit that bill better um, and uh, just uh, I guess primarily the, the weight and size and this being 42 inches it doesn't seem like much but makes a big difference as far as where you can get in and get around on things um, so that's uh, just a little more information about uh, my choice of rotary uh, brush hogs well a post post script here uh, I've got a little stub sticking up there that actually uh, We'll challenge this a little bit show you what this can do as far as cutting thick material I just cut one off and I, as I did it I thought oh, I should show you folks in YouTube land uh, some more so bear with me on uh, just a little bit more video here
up there. Not a problem. Takes it right off. So, I realize I've been cutting small stuff, but like I said, this does very well on the bigger stuff. And in actuality, I mentioned the previous rotary brush cutter I had. It did better on grass type material than this does, but it couldn't compete on the bigger stuff. So, there you go. Gauge the mower when it was at higher RPMs, but it doesn't hurt it. Just something I prefer not to do, given a choice. Here's some of those soft woods I'm trying to get rid of. Good. 